ten informal English expressions that native speakers use from EspressoEnglish.net. Number one, hang in there. If someone is experiencing difficulties or a bad situation, telling them to hang in there means keep trying, don't give up, be patient, and things will eventually get better. Number two, my new job rocks. Or my new job rules. The words rocks and rules are slang ways to say that something is really great, awesome, or wonderful. Number three, the new technology blew me away. If something blows you away, it means it completely amazed you. Another way to say it is, I was blown away by the new technology. Number four. I missed the boat on that one. If you miss the boat, it means you are too late to get an opportunity, so you lose the chance to participate. Number five, we got off on the wrong foot. This expression means to start something in a bad way. It is often used when two people meet for the first time and they have some sort of misunderstanding or disagreement, or their first impression of each other is not good. Number six, everybody was freaking out. To freak out means to panic or become very upset or agitated. Number seven, I haven't done this in a long time. I'm rusty. You can say you're rusty if you used to have good skills or ability to do something, but you haven't done this activity in a long time, and now you're not as good at it because you are out of practice. Number eight, things are still up in the air. If things are up in the air, it means that plans are still undecided or uncertain. Nothing is confirmed. Number nine, we all have to pitch in. To pitch in means to join an effort and help with something, usually a project that has multiple people working on it. Number ten, I'm beat. Time to hit the sack. Saying you are beat is a slang way to say you're tired, and hit the sack means to go to bed. Do you want to learn more phrases that are used by native speakers in daily life? Sign up for the Everyday English Speaking Course available at EspressoEnglish.net. This course has 45 lessons covering English for daily life, social English, and functional English, as well as a few lessons on slang and idiomatic expressions. Visit EspressoEnglish.net, click on Courses, and look for the Everyday English Speaking Course.